So given the fact that the summertime is here, it's in full force, the Dua brand has not forgotten us. They have released two exceptionally high quality citrus fragrances. These are niche quality through and through, super unique, super original, and also super affordable and long lasting at the same time. They are called Elixir of Ginger and Breeze of Newport Beach, brand new original creations. I'm excited to talk to you about both of them in today's double feature video, so make sure to stay tuned. Now before I begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on these two brand new, original, creative, long-lasting, high-quality citrus fragrances perfect for the summertime from the Dua brand, Elixir of Ginger and Breeze of Newport Beach, I want to start the video off first by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance related content, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you could be notified whenever I do upload these daily videos. And of course, give this video a thumbs up. It would really mean a lot to me. So when it comes to the Dua brand, there are so many amazing summertime fragrances that I love. Flagship, Flagship 3, they have Mint and Vert. They have so many wonderful fragrances that I personally enjoy wearing for the summertime. The Meteor is another one. That one is an inspired expression. Here you have two originals, Elixir of Ginger, which is a ginger-based fragrance with musk and violet and bergamot and lemon. And then Breeze of Newport Beach also has bergamot and lemon, but it has orange blossom, vanilla, and creamy sandalwood. Both of these are absolutely amazing. These are citrus fragrances on the same level as Zerzhov and Raja Parfum in terms of the uniqueness, the originality, the long-lasting qualities, the niche quality as well. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on the smell of both of these. Let's start things off with a quick look at the presentation first. So the first one that we're going to start with is called Elixir of Ginger. This is the freshest one of the two. This stuff, it opens up so bright and so spicy in this effervescent way. The ginger is just amazing. The quality of the ginger is really, really superb. And it does kind of remind me of like Diorum Sport and some of these like really bright, heavy hitting, even Burberry Sport Ice for Men by Burberry. That was an amazing ginger-based fragrance and I still own a bottle of that. Thankfully, this is an amazing ginger fragrance. The violet is super clean. It's not a petrol type violet like Dior Fahrenheit from the late 80s. The bergamot, the zestiness of the lemon, it's so amazing. And the musk in the dry down is also clean and smooth and billowy and it matches the cleanliness and the serene quality of the violet in the heart. This stuff is amazing. This stuff really is spectacular. As a citrus-based offering, this is actually my scent of the day today. And in the air, it smells even better than it does on the test strip. You gotta let it work with your own skin chemistry. And you know, depending on how oily your skin is, what your diet looks like, your pH level, so on and so forth, it's gonna react differently for everybody. This stuff smells, <laughs> I'm gonna toot my own horn, but it smells amazing on me, at least on my clothing and on my skin. I love the way that it smells in the air. Ginger and citrus, this stuff is spectacular. Elixir of ginger, unisex, citrus, all the way through. Here we have Breeze of Newport Beach. This one actually brings things in a sweeter direction. <sighs> Exquisite. This stuff, bergamot, lemon, it's zesty, it's smooth, it's a little sweet, it's creamy. You have the sandalwood and the vanilla joining forces in the dry down. It's really beautifully done. And then that orange blossom that's in here. So it actually reminds me of two other fragrances that I enjoy so dearly. Sevilla Lobe by Lourdes Saint Parfumer and then also Dajala by Zerzhov. Those are two orange blossom slash African orange flower fragrances. And they are both two of my favorite fragrances ever. I love, love, love how they smell. And here you have such a beautiful expression of both of those DNAs 
I can't sing enough praise for both of these. Elixir of Ginger, Breeze of Newport Beach. Elixir of Ginger is, on the fresher side of things, more citrus-based. Breeze of Newport Beach, it's a little bit sweeter, it's a little bit heavier, but you still have that bright effervescent citrus in the opening. Both of these are really amazing. I don't know what more to say. If you're looking for high quality citrus fragrances with complexity, with allure, with intrigue, please try both of these. I'm gonna drop both of the links down below. They're not affiliate links. I'm not making money from you making any purchases or anything like that. I just wanna to bring to your attention these two amazing fragrances, original, unique, long lasting, all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, both of these are fairly unique. I really can't compare these to anything else. Of course, with Breeze and Newport Beach, I mentioned other orange blossom fragrances just to put you in the mindset of kind of what to expect, but this one is actually fresher than both of those fragrances that I mentioned. I think Sevilla Lobe is a little bit too heavy handed on the orange blossom. Dajala is a little bit too floral. This one, more of an emphasis on the citrus. Both of these are super high quality citrus fragrances. Longevity for both of them is eight or nine plus hours. Extrait de Parfum for both of them, very highly concentrated. The projection for both of these was way beyond an arm's length for an hour and a half to two hours of application. Elbows length scent right around hour six. I would say with Breeze of Newport Beach, it's right around hour seven. And maybe you're gonna get an hour of longevity more out of Breeze of Newport Beach, but the projection for elix Elixir of Ginger is gonna be a little bit better. So maybe you might get like a, a half hour more projection from it, just because it's a little bit more heavy handed on the citrus. In terms of the versatility though, both are great for the summertime. Both are perfectly unisex. Of course, spring works really well for both of these two. Both of these can be worn dressed up because of the quality, dressed down because of the affordability. Anybody of any age could truly enjoy both of these fragrances. As far as the presentation is concerned, I do enjoy the graphic on both of these labels. My final verdict on these fragrances, I said it once, twice, thrice, I'll say it again. These are super high quality, long lasting, original citrus based fragrances from the Dua brand. As far as the quality is concerned, this is what you would expect from a Raja Parfum or a Zerzhov. They're awesome. I hope you have a chance to try them. I hope they're available in the Dua Solo, which I think is a 10 ml atomizer. Anyway, I'm gonna leave the links down below. Once again, they're not affiliate links. Check the website. I hope these are to your enjoyment and your olfactory pleasure. I love both of these. And once again, Elixir of Ginger is my scent of the day. So I'm gonna do a few more fresh sprays. I love this stuff. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for tuning in. That was my double feature of these fragrances. If you own or have tried any of these two fragrances, they're brand new, so I don't know if you have, unless you got one of the samples, because sometimes they give their audience a sneak peek or a sneak sniff of some of their unreleased fragrances. But anyway, what's your experience been? Drop your comment down below. Also, if you took something of value from today's episode, make sure to support the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell icon and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow with a new video. Bye.